everyone. Welcome to the last Nino Rimo vlog of 2019 and hi hello. That's not usually how I start my videos, but I'm tired. My name is Jennifer, you guys can call me Jen. <laughs> welcome to my channel. And welcome to me at 11:30 at night, right about to go to bed. <laughs> I realized that I had not actually started this vlog officially, so I felt like I should probably do that and um come in here with a few updates because it is now day 27 of NaNoWriMo. We have officially only Thursday, Friday, and Saturday left. <sighs> before, one, we have to be done the 50k, and two, before Vlogmas starts on the first. So, things are going down. <laughs> but, I have reached about 47,000 words in my story and I think I have passed the midpoint finally or at least reached it so thank god for that <laughs> honestly thank god for that because I was just waiting for it and I knew like because I've hit it now at like 40 some thousand words hopefully this uh, book won't be over 100k like most of my projects end up being because I overwrite all the time. I've also like came up with a uh, a kind of a new twist midpoint today. Um, it just like popped into my head and I was like yeah that makes a lot of sense why didn't I think of that before and now I have to like I know how I have to restructure the story to make like make it like really make sense um, as to why it's a twist so that'll be for editing me to do in 2020 I guess <laughs> when I'm redo when I'm rewriting the story once it's done but anyways so yeah that's really exciting um in reading news I don't really have that much going on I am still I don't know if I mentioned that I started reading the beautiful in my previous vlog but I did and I am 112 pages in I haven't actually picked this one up in a few days because I've been reading other things uh but it's good so far i'm enjoying it um i also finished an audiobook at work i listened to our stop in like four hours it was so cute so intriguing and i really really enjoyed it and i needed that like palette cleanser of romance to get me through it and then from work i went and i bought my favorite half night stand by christina lauren which i am that far through so like just about halfway which is awesome. And then I've been really listening to the Potterless podcast and I'm actually trying to read along with him, um, with Mike Schubert. And uh, so I'm reading the Deathly Hollows right now because he's, I'm listening to when he's reading the Deathly Hollows books. Um, and I am currently on chapter 16, just about to go into Godric's Hollow. So, so excited about that. And I love this. I actually... <laughs> restarted my audible subscription because i wanted to get the um audiobook of this for my own reading pleasure i have an audiobook of this but it is a file of the stephen fry audiobooks and the file kind that i have you can't speed it up so it is just the normal way that he has recorded the audiobook which is fine usually for Harry Potter books because he does it in a way that like it feels like I'm just living the story which is amazing but the way that I wanted to listen to this is sped up <laughs> it's like an actual audiobook that I listen to so I got the Jim Dale version on Audible and I'm listening to that at work which is a good time uh what else not much else has really happened I oh yes I went today because I actually I yesterday I had a pre-order of the new Brandon Sanderson book which is the sequel to Skyward which I read this year which is one of my favorite books of 2019 um I had pre-ordered the sequel way back like months ago and I saw on Instagram the other day that it had already been released and I was like, well, what, what? I haven't even gotten an email from Indigo that it's been sent to me yet. So I went in and it like, my, my order was just like, it's not released yet. And I'm like, but it is like on the site, it's available now. So I ended up canceling my order because who knew when that was going to go through. 
Um, and then I just went and picked it up today from the bookstore and it's so beautiful. I adore these like illustrated covers that are coming out now with like the super hyper realistic art design. I know there's one girl who like does a lot of the covers. She does like, um, she's, I think, I don't know if it's the same person who does the Brandon Sanderson ones as like the, um, Margaret Rogerson ones, like, you know, like the Sorcery of Thorns and stuff, but it's the same kind of vibe. But like also, look at that spine. Oh, I'm so excited about this. This is going to be a vlog, a part of Vlogmas, I think, in December, because it is one of my most anticipated releases of this year, and um, I'm really hoping it lives up to the um, Skyward just amazingness. Um, I think I might actually end up having to reread Skyward before I go into this, because it's been a while and I've read a lot, and I want to know the story really well before I hop into this, so, you know. But anyways, I am going to go to bed now because it is now most definitely 11.30 and I need to get up at work in the morning. So, I will, I will see you tomorrow. Um, oh, also, I just, <laughs> on my stats on the NaNoWriMo page, it says that I'm going to be done tomorrow. Which, wild? I don't think I am because, I, as I said, I'm at 47 something. Which, to me, I'm going to have to write over 2,000 words to get there. So, like, who knows if I'll finish that tomorrow or if I'll end up finishing it on Friday. But stay tuned, because you'll find out in a few seconds. I will have to wait a few days, probably. <laughs> but good night. I'll see you guys in the morning. Happy Thursday. Happy day 28 of NaNoWriMo. I'm hopping in here with an update. I do realize that in my previous clip that I was speaking, I said I would uh, see you in the morning and I should know better. Because <laughs> I'm not human in the morning and when do I ever film vlog clips in the morning? Like That's literally not a thing. <laughs> um, anyways, I have been in bed for a little while basically since I got home I got home and I like had some food I literally made dad made some food for me and I came it down I came down and ate it in bed <laughs> and when I got home at like eight so and did I get home at eight no tonight was one of my early nights you know what it doesn't really matter does it I've been in bed for hours now and um I've been watching booktube, been catching up on videos that I've missed recently. Um, oh, and I actually finished the book that I was reading, um, My Favorite Half Night Stand by Christina Lauren, and I enjoyed this. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars because it was just kind of a eh, read for me. Um, nothing super special. I found the beginning really interesting, the premise really interesting, and then it kind of got for me about halfway through and then by the end I was like oh, okay like I can see it's picking back up again but I feel I'm in this weird spot where like I think this could have been such a like a longer well thought out book if um the authors had given more time to the other characters other than Reed and Millie the two main characters um because the other ones other than me and Mi Reed and Millie felt like pieces of paper that could push the plot along i mean ed was kind of a little bit more there than the others because he had like a more crucial part but really like they were nothing we had nothing from them which really bothered me but whatever <laughs> um and besides that i think we could have had a better feel for the situation um and a better plotted book if it was longer, but then again, this doesn't have enough plot to be longer, so there would need to be another plot strain introduced, or like actually done, because there's a few um, plots introduced at the beginning, but like nothing's actually acted on, they're just like possibilities, um, and then the only plot is the, um, the one you get on the back, 
which is kind of unfortunate. Like, I do wish that there was more to romance books a lot of the time. And this isn't really even... No, it is a romance book. But, like, not your typical Harlequin, you know? But it was okay. It was entertaining. Would be a fun movie. I don't know. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. <laughs> it's going away. Uh, what else? Nothing else is really outdated, other than the fact that I got my words in for the day. I am done writing for the day. <laughs> There's a giant red mark on my screen because I have something highlighted that I just was like, I don't know. Write something here. Red. Because <laughs> I've done that a few times in this draft. Um, so editing me in 2020 is going to have great fun with this. Uh, but anyways, exciting news, guys. I have not yet fi hit 50k, but it is 11.45, so I was like, you know what, I should put my words in before I run out of time for today to add my words in. And I am now sitting at 48,793 words. So, tomorrow, your girl is hitting 50k and she's winning NaNoWriMo a day early, which is so exciting. Oh my god, I can't believe I did it. I mean, like, I wanted to, and my goal was to, but, like, it's still cool, you know? Um, but, we'll, we'll, we'll wait, and we'll save the celebration for tomorrow. But besides that, um, I don't know, uh, where I'm feeling meh about my story still. Um, even though yesterday I kind of had, like, a mini epiphany where I decided to kind of, like, basically put a dead body in the middle of a party. Um, but I'm kind of all over the place with, like, the character relationships, and I know the plot's gonna have to be really ripped apart and put back together, because it's just, it's not, it's not good right now. But that's what first drafts are for. I'm just telling myself a story, and I'm gonna fix it. So, <laughs> eventually, so. Oh well. Yeah, I am going to continue watching some booktube, I think. I'm going to put my computer away, hit save, and I will see you guys tomorrow for day 29 and the last day, hopefully, of my nano, which pretty cool, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. saw me. I, I did it. I did it. I did it. I hit 50,000 words. I won Nano Rhymer. I was sitting upstairs and mom and dad were like doing stuff in the kitchen, getting stuff ready for dinner because they're having people over tonight. And I was just sitting there just like for about like 10 20 minutes before I told them, I was like, I've won NaNoWriMo. I just had to contain myself for a second and then did what you just saw. <sighs> I did it. I won NaNoWriMo. I have reached the halfway mark basically of my novel. Um, I don't really know where I'm gonna go with the story next, to be honest with you guys. I think the last half of the book needs the most planning, um, other than what I have. Already, 
So we'll sh we'll find out because as you already know, I'm continuing with this into December, hopefully to have a finished draft by the end of December. So <sighs> ah, I'm so excited. Ah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done NaNoWriMo. I can officially say, it's done. It's done! I'm... I'm not... I was going to buy myself some NaNoWriMo swag in honor of being done NaNoWriMo, but I went to like put a t-shirt in the cart and uh, Shipping to Canada is just ridiculous, so it would like not to me it wasn't really worth it for a shirt that I would probably wear like once and then like sleep in. So that's fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna be happy for myself instead of buying something to mem commemorate it by, you know, um, which is fine. Uh, I'm gonna put on my screen my little winner thing here if I remember to, which is very exciting. I now have all the badges I can possibly have. So exciting! And, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm in shock, which is kind of amazing. Does that mean these vlogs have to be ended here? Yeah, because I'm done NaNoWriMo now. Next up is Vlogmas, which I'm going to start on Sunday because we're putting up our tree on Sunday. So that's going to be very exciting. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for following me on this, my very first NaNoWriMo journey. I could not be happier with the results, <laughs> even though my story is kind of up in limbo right now, but I did it. 50k. I'm actually above 50k because I had hit 50k, and uh, it's a good time. So, anyways, I'll see you guys in another vlog soon, and another video soon. Stay kind and keep on reading. Bye, for real. <laughs> Goodbye.